Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the next episode of review for The Great Jaya Will Not Be Defeated, episode 15 now. Um, the boss cannot decide. Is this a pattern? I've been, if, I follow, if I follow every single episode I've been saying, you know, each episode keeps getting better and better. I've seen, I'm being redundant on those, like I said, a whole bunch of times, but I just can't help it, you know. I love this episode. It was another awesome, fantastic episode. And just more expressing how on more on on Jahi on her that's basically her jealousy basically. I mean, especially with, with her dealing with the magical girl now that she's gonna be with the magical girl is gonna be with her basically twenty four seven, and everything about this I thought was really hilarious and more. Like I said on Jahi's uh, jealousy because. Uh, a lot of things that happens, like especially with the Dark Lord and with um, and what's going on with with the magical magical girl and with Kokoro. So I really thought everything about this was I thought was really fantastic about it. And how it goes like with when they open when they go to when with Kokoro is sees the Jahi in the park right, and then all of a sudden, um, the magical girl. I know she has a I know she has a name, but uh, I forget her name though, but. Magical girl fault is like is there you know, you know following her. It's like oh she's my and Koko's like who's she? Oh she's my friend. I right, I'm Jahi's friend, and and then it's like oh she's not my friend. And you get it immediately get it like this evil vibe about her. Uh, of the magical girl has gets an evil vibe. It's like oh like boy he's like what did she say? And Jahi's like oh no we're, we're friends. And he's like oh okay. <laughs> um and other the fact that you know that when J Jahi. You know, wants Coco to stay away from her. She's trouble because of the misfortunes. But I love the fact that uh, jo that the, that um, I'll tell you, but Coco actually makes actually becomes friends with the magical girl, enjoys and enjoys her company. Right? Like when they want to go, they want to play. Oh, oh, it's the magical girl. Like, oh, it's tag. Right? Tag, you're it. Right? And Coco is like, it has is having fun with what has having fun with the magical girl, and Jai is like, you know. <sighs> Why you know and th and then she's like mate she may think that because there's some other some adults saying oh a high school girl work uh playing with two little girls right and Jahi is just like is a maybe she'll get in trouble with the police though right but that's not the case so the adults are saying oh look they're so cute together uh so that is you more in jealous because she because because. She wants Kokoro to be just friends with her, not with the magical girl. But even though the Kokoro says that they want, she wants to be friends with the magical girl and likes and likes her. So, but he says that Jahi's like, oh, Kokoro uh, is saying to her, uh, magical girl, Kokoro is my playmate. So, I thought all the whole thing. I would think this whole episode, with how the way it goes with Jahi's jealousy, was really was really great. And up into the and up into the point where. Or the rest of the episode carries is when the magical girl follows her to her work. It is what it says, like coincidental. It's like coincidental, right? I always say, like, are you stalking me? But the uh, magical girl saying, oh, it was just coincidental because I was looking for a job too. There's a flyer here for for this for for the for the pub, and it's hiring, right? And the fact that you know that the boss needed some more help, right? So maybe there was coincidence that that she was uh, she just happened to be. Get hired to the place where Jai just happened to work. So, and I thought it was another, another her reaction was just great too as well. And the fact that she want and she and Jai thinking that oh since the, we have another hand here made things easier for me. But it turns out it's not because because the magical girl is is just doing very is doing very poorly. Uh, like she's always tripping and falling, uh, saying things flying. The fact that where Jai has to catch the beer. Well, with the glasses, and then she gets soaked in beer, and she has to catch all the food with her hands and her knee and all that. And if you hear the audience, like the the the, the people, the patrons there are uh, clapping. <laughs> and when I think about it, I see this more like the opposite because, uh, because the because her the boss tells you know the magical girl thing that said that's uh, how Johnny was originally, you know, when she when she was first hired here. You know how she was, you know, doing uh, badly and all that stuff, right? So was, she's seeing the magic girl as Jai when she originally started, and now that Jai is more professional now, she's better at her job now. 
and she probably and and then she wants to she wants Jai to to uh tutor ment mentor her. Why don't you want to like Jai is like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but eventually Jai is like, you know what? I'll teach you. And more than that, you know, like I said, and someone that she doesn't really doesn't like, but say that she's kind of friends, but oh. Well, they say she's she is they say they are friends though, but more or less the more or less for Jahi because but beside all that though, someone that she doesn't really doesn't like though, but overall, but she still has managed to teach it. Like I said, more on her hum a more on her human side, you know. She'll teach you everything you know. So, but uh, I saw it was really nice. So you could see how the like, magical girl would start off like. How Jai originally was, and uh, when she was first hired, and then now, you now saying that Jai is now professional and stuff, then she'll teach you. Um, and the more she seems like she gets a little bit, she gets a little bit better on doing the job, which I thought was pretty good, you know, and it was really great. And and then the fact when it comes to the taste testing, because uh, the boss wants to put a new menu item, well, that I thought was freaking great because, okay, first they started with this, like the stewed flounder. It's pretty good, but then I like how Jai is like, maybe his uh, amp up some is better like beef, because the reason why she uh, like on the second dish is ginger pork, and it's pretty good, right? But then Jai's like, not bad, but try to add something like a little more like uh, like a steak to it. And the reason why she's saying that because until when the when the when the boss because both the boss and the magic girl are like oh because because. Wherever this, wherever Jai is suggesting, oh, it's really good because it's like the you hear the narrator saying, oh, um, they're both it's clouding both their judgments, right? So, and the fact that um, because 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 that uh, Jai, since she's been living poorly all ever since she first came to the human world, she's been eating nothing but bean sprouts, eating piss poor food. She never got a chance to taste anything that's good like steak, right? Because she never can afford it. So one time when she when the boss finally brings out diced steak, um, when she takes a bite of it, which gets me it's me gives it's me gives me that food wars vibe, you know, when the first bite she takes of something that's so delicious, you know, like how food wars when some people take a bite of a first, of a such the thing that's such delicious, you know, they go into that food gasm where they just we see we see their clothes just rip off, right? You get you know, the same the same thing with that with Jog when she takes a bite of that steak, like you see her like her clothes just just rip off like the same thing you see in food wars i'm like really you throwing you're throwing a food a food wars um aspect in there <laughs> i thought no not that that's a bad thing i mean i like food wars but it's like oh you're throwing that a food a food a food wars reference in there i don't think that was not the intention though at all though but I, when you when you watch the series of food wars you get the same oh when they get that food gasm when they're clo when you see that their clothes just rip off, that's the thing, you know. So the same thing with Jai when she takes a bite of that first delicious steak, you know. Same thing happens. And she wants and she and she literally wants to put that as a new menu item because even though that stuff is very expensive and it'll probably make the boss go broke. I'm not thinking about that though. And I and they wanna they wanna agree to that though. And then I love the fact that the landlady comes in and she overhears this and she's like, What do you think you're doing? You really do that because so because something that you like getting the boss to do. <laughs> I like how they should those landlady she, she just shuts that down right away, and then all of a sudden, boom! Out of nowhere, the Dark Lord appears. Because <clears throat> since basically she she's a she's a a food eater, basically eating the the magical girls in and out of house basically, and um, and she's eating the rest of the eating the rest of their food, and. <laughs> And I like when she when she when she says uh, don't give her more food. I like when the dark lord gets all gets that gives that pouty face like. <laughs> and then and then also the fact more on that jealousy more on Jai's jealousy part where the le magical girl says well you know, okay on the way home we'll get you a snack from the convenience store. I like the fact that that Jai gets so jealous because the fact that that, that she's see, she sees that the, that the her dark lord that she's been praising so much about right. Is, is like kind of favoring Magical Girl over her because of food. It's like, but Jahi praises Magical Girl, Magical Girl praises Jahi, and the Dark Lord, you know, for Magical Girl because of food. It's like, I, it's, I, I like this whole love triangle thing is, is, has progressed, right? So, I, I, I really enjoy that, and, and, and the fact that, you know, it's, it's causing the 
break uh, Daddy down on Lydia saying, "Oh, you know the Dark Lord has her reasons." And when the Dark uh, when Lydia's like, "What happened? Why is she Why is she favoring her, not you?" So. Yeah, that's basically that, and also the first. That's the first time where the the, the boss and Lanley meets the mat, meets the Dark Lord now. So, <laughs> but yeah, he's like, "Why is why is she favoring her, or not you?" And Jolly's like, "Well, I'm sure she has her reasons." Even though she kind of sees that she's de- she's jealous because she wants the Dark Lord to praise her, but not the magical girl. But the thing is, though, there's food. Go to the magic. Go to the magical girl. So, I love the fact that I love the, the fact that uh, which kind of gets me thinking. It gets me thinking that um, where what was like that in the dark realm when the when the dark lord was there and when second Jahi was in second command was she like that before or maybe she isn't I don't know because I, I don't really get the wrong I only I only get the wrong idea thinking that oh just Jah, Jahi get becomes second in command not knowing anything, anything about the dark lord other than the fact she's the dark lord and not knowing how she really is so. I don't know, so maybe the maybe Jahi thought they got that whole idea that oh I, uh, she's great and all that stuff, but at the end she kind of doesn't. Because when she when she first when she saw the Dark Lord again, we haven't seen the Dark Lord give like any praise to uh, Jahi. Oh, the fact in the previous episode when when Dark Lord gave her that little piece of octopus to her, but uh, but now saying like oh like, like her like well even though she doesn't speak though, but like say kind of say like Jahi is a great second in command or something like that, you know. So, but, but, <laughs> Jai's jealousy in this episode was so great to see, you know, I, I, did, I, I got laughs, it was, an, it was another fantastic episode, I would say, I put this another great, another one of my favorite episodes of this series, I have to put this one, I definitely have to give this one another thumbs up for this one, definitely, and then, yeah, sure, 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 the reason, and I think that was, yeah, that was about, that was about it, so. <laughs> yeah. But. The boss kind of decided. I really enjoyed it. Everything I said before, like how, how Jahi's like being secretly, like, nonchalant, but secretly trying to get the, the, the boss to give him more expensive meat because even though she can't, f- they, it's, even though it's so expensive, it probably will break her, but, bre- uh, you know, make the big boss go broke, but I love that the landlady just shuts that down right now. And, like, how it, Jahi's jealousy towards like the magical girl when she's hanging out with Kokoro, or taking up a, a taking a, uh, even when they need the help at her job, but she gets a pl- uh, hired at the place where she works, and getting getting quite aggravated when she had to do more work when uh, Ma- magical girl was doing poorly, like trip tripping over a whole bunch of things and doing stuff like that and breaking dishes. So yeah, and then on top of that, then then that the, the Dark Lord is favoring. Magical girl over Jahi because of food. So I really did enjoy all this. This is another fantastic, great episode. I, I great Jahi will not be defeated. Episode fifteen. Now we got five more episodes to go. And one thing was, I would love to, see, I would love to see how Druji would would react. I said this before. I love how we, if, if, I, w- I want to see how Druji react and went to see that this ma- this girl, who that they, she thought that. Jahi defeated is bit is like kind of hanging around her all the time, twenty four seven, right? Except when it has to be Druji who's who's, uh, Jahi's uh, one and only playmate, you can say. So I would love to. Uh, one more, I want to see how that goes. How would she? How Druji will get so jealous that she wants to fight the magical girl? Like I'm, I'm like saying like, I'm Jahi's number one, all that stuff. I'm her best friend or something like that. So yeah, I'm really good. So I'm hopefully with something like that will come along like in the next episode or so. So, but uh, the next episode is called um, "The Dark Lord Doesn't Hold Back." So, so it's probably gonna be more on the Dark Lord. So yeah, episode fifteen of the Great Jai will not be defeated. I gotta give another thumbs up to us. I really did enjoy this episode a whole a whole lot. So, so yeah, that's it. So hope you enjoyed this episode. And I and uh, now let's uh, get back to um, the next video. Will be review. Um, the next preview discussion for the next episode of Yashihime. The next preview discussion about that. But this one, fantastic episode. Another one. As like I said, this this becomes a this show has become a real gem. Like I said before, and I really love this anime series a lot. So yeah, gets better and better and better. Like I said before, a whole bunch of times. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next preview discussion. Later.